So here it is, uh, August 10th, uh, Wednesday, August 10th. And one of the things I keep on hearing is uh, that entitlement spending was a major factor in the S&P downgrade from AAA to AA plus, blah, 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 entitlement spending, entitlement spending. And uh, I have to tell you, I'm still baffled. Uh, U.S. Treasury bills and, and U.S. Treasury bonds have nothing to do with entitlement spending, right? Uh, the benefits from Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, uh, that money is uh, taxpayer funded. And so uh, never once had, uh, has the United States issued any debt whatsoever to fund the benefits uh, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Not once. So that doesn't make any sense to me. I'm, I'm on the SSA.gov site right now. And correct, we do have, uh, I think we do have a deficit in the fund itself, uh, but that doesn't include the interest income from the fund. Uh, if you were to include interest income, we're still positive and we'll, we'll continue to be positive until 2022. I think when you include interest income, and so uh, what what I'm saying to you is we still have time to fix Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid, uh, but they have nothing to do with the creditworthiness of the United States uh, debt. Nothing at all. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm going to tell you something. If it came down to it, and we did have to issue debt to to fund uh, Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, I, I don't think we would anyway. And the reason why is because these trust funds are part of the general fund calculation. So they're on the, they're on the federal balance sheet right now, uh, but they're not on the federal liability side. Uh, and, and the reason why, uh, I think, is because if it came down to uh, having a choice whether or not the United States had to pay China, let's say, or Liechtenstein or whatever, uh, if they had to pay those guys, or if they have to pay uh, our citizens but for Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, if it came down to it, I guarantee you the United States would uh, forego payments to Social Security and pay uh, China. And the reason why is because these these things, these entitlement programs are so su are supposed to be trust funds, but they're not. There's not a an IOU for twenty to, for twenty billion. You don't see the government saying, "Oh, uh, because of ta payroll tax payroll tax fall or, or payroll tax." taxes have a shortfall this year, uh, we owe uh, 20 billion to this fund. There's no such thing. Uh, so there, there's not a liability on the balance sheet for, for these entitlement programs. These entitlement programs could be just snuffed out, you know, at will. Uh, Congress could pass a law saying no more. Or they could artificially raise the uh, minimum threshold uh, for the retirement age. So, you know, this, this, this whole craziness about its entitlement spending has, no one knows what they're, th these guys don't know what they're talking about. Rich Lowry included. I mean, the guy shouldn't even be writing after what he wrote about Palin. I'm, I mean, it was just odd. It's weird. But uh, anyway, that's why I have to say entitlement spending has nothing to do with the debt at all. Uh, and if, and if anyone would, should say such a thing, just, uh, you know, just, I don't know, just hand him an econ book or something. Give him a, I, I, you know, give him a, a, a free semester at, uh, at, at the nearest university. You know, cure their ignorance because it, it just doesn't make any sense.